at this juncture, I have a word for some Yoruba people who stock and trade is nothing but a rancorous noise characterized by bitterness and resentment about the ancestry of the former two-term governor of Lagos State, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinumbu. Hello. Uh-huh. Carry your story. Shall I repeat myself? I say I have a word for those Yoruba and chorus elements, noise makers who had not achieved as much as Ashiwa Jubala Tinumbu had achieved, but they are always querying and worrying themselves about his ancestry. His trade users are quick to tell you he's from Iragbiji. That's where Jeff came from. That's where, that's where he fled to. Oh, he's from Iragbiji in Osun State. He's not from Lagos State. As if that will resolve the issues that we face today. Please hear me loud and clear. Knowing the name of Ashiwaju's biological mother or father or his place of birth cannot put food on the table of the hungry or create jobs for the unemployed and the unemployable. Despite his growing up challenges, the dance and the deters of his life, he, like Jephthah in the Bible, delivered Lagos State and nearly all the Southwest states from the onslaught of the PDP from 1999 to 2007. And truth be told, without his cooperation and political dexterity, the APC victory at the polls in 2015 and 2019 would have been impossible. People, please note, that I'm not Ashwaju's brand manager and definitely do not endorse everything you might have read about his present or his past or his lifestyle, his politics or his businesses. His spokesman can do that for him. All I know is that just as every saint has a past, every sinner has a future and the best of men are still men at the very best. Frankly speaking, I'm not very sure that many of his trade users would have survived if they had gone through the vicissitudes of life that Ashwa Jubala Chinumbu went through. Therefore, those who are envious of him and those who desire to take his past lot should stop their useless talk about him and busy themselves with what can add value to society. Furthermore, no right-thinking person would describe himself as a self-made man. In the words of George Matthew Adams, there is no such thing as a self-made man. We are made up of thousands of others. Everyone who has ever done a kind deed to us or spoken the word of encouragement to us has entered into the makeup of our character and of our thoughts as well as our success. I think this was the basis of the relationship between the late Iyaloja Bibat Mogaji and his adopted son Ashwa Jubola Metinumbu. Therefore, the latter calling the former his mother is not only proper, it is also honorable. It is those demonizing their mother and son relationship that should find something profitable to do with their time. Ashwaju Ahmed Bolatinumbu did not and could not choose his biological parents. Yet no one can forbid him from choosing his role models or stop him from changing his name. To his credit, like J.F.T. de Gileadat, he had fought many battles on behalf of Yoruba people and won despite his rough beginning. And God does not need anybody's permission to put such in his hall of faith despite their past deeds and ancestry. In the words of Roman philosopher Seneca, he said, it is a rough road that leads to the height of greatness. I hope my admonition is well received. Let me tell you why you must receive it because I want to round up. I was at home when messages were sent to my phone, my WhatsApp. Elder statesmen who are strange bedfellows suddenly came together. They said, in order to deliver Yoruba people, we must 
must come together. These are strengthened fellows. And their representative came to my home and said, Pastor, they've put my name there. They didn't consult me before they put my name. And they put other eminent Yoruba people there also. Men of the cloth and those who are naked. So we are doing a conference sometimes in January so that the Yoruba people and the people of the South can take a position against the onslaught of the enemy, of their perceived enemy. So I asked the man who came to my house a question. I said, who are you planning to kill? He said, no, 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 no. We are not planning to kill anybody. We just want to do what is right so that Yoruba people can be free. Ah. I said, that's fine. I said, this person and this person are sworn enemies. How did they become friends? He said, for a common cause. I said, no. When Pilate and Herod are greedy, it was because they wanted to kill Jesus. Who do you want to kill? I reasoned straight from scripture. Then I told him what he was not ready to listen to. I said, have you gone to Ashwa Jubala met Tinumbu for a buy-in? He said, yes. We have reached to him and he said, we agree totally. He is going to play ball with them, but there are some things to be agreed upon later. And the week after, Ashwa Jubala's group also fixed the same date in the same Ibadan city for their own summit summoning all the governors of Southwest and all the others to be there. Who will follow the others? Nobody. Do you understand me? Look, I'm telling you the truth. Accept your humble pie. Eat it. When you were sleeping, Ashbala Bala Tinubu was walking there at night. He secured Lagos. Secured Ubu. Secured Oyo. Secured Oshu. Secured Ekiti. Secured Ondo. Secured Edo. And he says, say nobody or there. <laughs> and you think he labor that much to now say, come and take. No. He's not a fool. Jephthah is not an idiot. Yeah. Stop all this nonsense about ancestry. You will kill your heroes. And those who can deliver you, you will put them aside and nothing will happen. All these Shakabula leaders. They don't have machine gun. All they have is shaka. You know what shaka bula is? Then gone. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. I'm not afraid of anybody. Ojo Benny Koshore and Ejiri Lejim. Stop plotting, scheming against someone. He had his past. You have yours. Even Pope has a past. Don't let me expose your men of God, though. Because they all have their past, too. And before I expose them, I should look inward. I have my past too. And you do too. You have no past, you have no future. Stop, stop all this rancorous noise of bitterness. Look, I would defend the rights of even my enemy when they have that right. Has he done something with power? Yes. Has he done all things well? No. But he did his best. You can't do more than, you can't give more than what you have. Therefore, let's sit around the table and say, these are the challenges. Jephthah, we need you. <laughs> do you know how long ago I told the Yoruba elders to do this? Over 10 years ago. They're now going around, milling around him. You understand me? We are going to fix this country. Amen. And nobody has a monopoly of wisdom to do it. I know what I'm saying today will create a lot of backlash on social media. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Call me names. I know my name. <laughs> Say what you like about me, but let's face it. Uh, I think I need to stop. If these worthless men, like the ones with Abimelech, they perish with him because they did evil. But those who turn around, God still use them. 
He used David. He used Jephthah. Are you with me? I don't want to say more than is necessary. A word is enough for the wise. Look inward today and see what you can do, not only to provide for your family. The reason power is given is so that you can protect others. The reason riches is given is so that you can support others. Until you understand the dynamics of power and wealth, God will not bless you as you desire to because you will consume everything upon your own lust. Oh, you don't know what you have done. Oh, he's making money from taxation. Why don't you make yours? If the system allowed it and he exploited that system to his own advantage, I read it on his 68th anniversary interview by the Guardian newspaper. Did you read it? He said, OBJ is my hero. I learned how to be transparently corrupt from him. 